This is a social phenomena that emerges when many individuals interact according to an agreed upon rule. I am a physicist who studies social phenomena, but at a much, much smaller scale. When you zoom into these people's hands and their phone, there are these electrons. And I study the uh, social phenomena of electrons. Electrons form different communities depending on the social infrastructure, that is the material, and the environment, that is the experimental condition. The material YBCO shown at the top looks dull because in the room temperature condition, the electrons form this chaotic state. We call it bad metal. However, you take the same material and cool it down, down, down to minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit, you reach this completely coherent, very uh, consistent state, which can carry a current without resistance. We call this superconductor. Silicon shown below looks shiny, and it shows that it's a state system uh, where electrons are forming a traffic on the bridge. When the bridge is raised, nothing can pass through, that's an off state. When the bridge is lowered, electrons can flow through, that is an on state. The fact that semiconductors can manifest this on and off property at a much smaller scale than vacuum tubes allowed us to scale down the computers from ENIAC to present day iPhones. However, all of the semiconductor based technology relies on on and off, black and white. So you can wonder, why do we stay with just black and white? Why not go to the full spectrum of colors? Is that possible? It turns out it is possible if you make use of the uh, spin of electron. Spins are a degree of freedom that is in a superposition. It's more like having a full spectrum. There is a phase. Moreover, depending on which angle, which axis did you look at it, it once again looks like it has a full phase. It allows us to encode information in a much more richer way. The foundational experiment in 1920s showed that not only spins can be in a superposition of right or left in this um, split slit shape, but when you take one of them and look at it from a different axis, once again, you find it right, and, right or left or up and down. There is this superposition in spin, which gives us the full rainbow. We are a lucky generation because we can now see these spins and uh, implement it into a set of qubits. They can be individually controlled, can be used to be programmed and used for computation. There are many different platforms for implementing the quantum computers. However, this technology is still at uh, infancy. In my research, I try to bridge this uh, nascent technology with more established classical computing so that we can understand what's going on in quantum sim simulators better, and we can make better use of the quantum simulators to solve problems in the material world, bridging between complex and rich data with theoretical insight.